Music by Indigo Saint. Yeah, peak work. I'm moving no research. See, that's the difference between making a bag or using a bag. Or it's like work. Research. B.O.T. make the tech work. An underdog, you like Cap Kirk. We masters in the middle burst. Just research. I want to give a shout out once again to your dog, Crypto. These guys have been doing an excellent job in regards to the coverage, the deep dives, in regards to SwiftCoin, Stellar, the whole shebang. Okay, so got to, you know, let's give credit what credit's due. Boom. What is this? Why point it out? Well, it's Draper University. And Draper University had this reposted from Sorbon. And as we know, Sorbon is the premier smart contract platform for Stellar, the Protocol 21 upgrade. Draper University, yeah, the real Draper University, with over 13,500 followers, not a lot, but still it's them, has stated, this announcement that we definitely need to get into. And that basically is they're teaming up. Yes, you read it right. Teaming up with Stellar Org to accelerate and fund up to 80 startups to build on Stellar for over two years. This is part of their continued commitment to growing blockchain adoption and supporting the Web3 ecosystem. Learn more about these programs on their website. You see this. And to have it from Draper, I think, speaks volumes. And, you know, they are proud to announce this. But most importantly, guys, it is a major partnership. Because now you kind of have an idea, even from the SwiftCoin point of view, of how, why we did these uh, deep dives, why you guys are interested in, you know, the Chinese XRP, if you will. And, you know, yes, this is about Stellar. And yes, this is about SwiftCoin, both. But it's confirmation, in my opinion, and I'm not the only one. I don't normally speak on behalf of Rue and so on, but I, I, if I had to bet if he was here, he would say, yep, this confirms everything. How so? Is it just this video? No, it's definitely not just this video. You're right, Maximus. We don't just talk. We bring facts. On my previous video, SwiftCoin, buy the rumor, sell the news. I brought you a rumor about SwiftCoin collaboration with Stellar. But then something happened. Here's part two of that research. Underdog, go ahead and take it away, sir. All right. Well, thank you very much, uh, Maximus Black Fruit, uh, people who are coming, friends, family. Look, today I want to bring something for the first time ever on Maximus channel. The word on the street is Maximus is one of the premier subject matter experts on Stellar XLM. He's one of those individuals you go to if you wanna know facts and that's what I'm about and I wanna make sure I bring this to you. So without further ado, let me bring something for the first time. So I'm telling you, you're gonna to need to tune back into this video because what is about to be shared, I have not found one other person sharing this information. And it's a connection between Stellar and Swift and a rumor that I had discussed. So if you don't mind, I'm gonna take a moment to upload a couple of things because in order to get to the future, sometimes we gotta go to the past, right? So if I can, I'm gonna upload a video. It's a six minute video. And it's a question answer session I did a couple of weeks ago after I released a video that called Buy the Rumor, Sell the News. Or a other one. By the new seller room. <laughs> and the video is about Stellar and Swift. There was a, a conversation that was being held that Coindar stated that Swift and Stellar would have some type of collaboration with MoneyGram. Now, there was a lot of questions that came up, of course, right? One, would they use XLM token? How would that work? What would that look like? Now, because if this was true, it was supposed to happen at the end of March. And if this was true, I think everyone could see this would be a big deal monetarily, especially if we got there early. Now, here's the problem with it, though. Quickly after I released this information, all of a sudden it went off the coin door. Now, I don't know about you. I don't believe in coincidences. I believe that when you find something like that and, and it was sitting there for almost two years and all of a sudden goes blank. Now, this is what I thought. At the time that it went blank, I didn't even research that part. I heard from community members that it, it disappeared from the Coindar website. But I keep receipts. So I had already screenshotted it and shared it with you. And the individuals who saw that saw the same thing. So you can't say the underdog gave you information that didn't exist. It existed, but someone tried to remove the evidence of that existence. But why would they do that? 
Well, today on Maximus Crypto Show, I'm going to tell you why they did it. I'm going to give you direct evidence today, and I'm going to allow you as the community members, as researchers, to go and look and check my facts. If I am lying on any of these facts, then call me out. Say, underdog researcher lied to us, but I don't think you'll do that. I think you're going to ask the company the question, why did they remove this information? Well, let me show you why. So I'm going to pull up a slide and give me a second as I go through uh, my computer and pull up this slide so I can give you some information. Um, Maximus, could you bring this up? I just uploaded. Hopefully it, it processes. And as it comes up, it's going to go over a couple of things. Now, okay. this was the video I made a few weeks ago, the rumors about SWIFT and MoneyGram. Now, I want you to know that then I answer questions a couple of weeks afterwards that the community have. Now, I have nothing to do with Swift Coin. I, they don't pay me. I don't have no promotion, no advertisement. I'm a non-biased researcher. I don't have a dog in this fight. I report research I find. But I answer questions based off the research. Now, when I looked into this, this is what I found. May 6th of 2019 at 3.44 p.m., on the verified site for Swift blockchain, Swift coin, this was not removed. On May 15th, it says at stellarpay.org, XLB, notice it's XLB, not XLM, will become one of the first at Stellar Org tokens available on Swift blockchain. Then it tagged these organizations, Stellar Pay, XLB connects banks, payment systems, and people, and as soon as you will be able to swap it easily over 160 currencies. Now, this was on Swift blockchain site. Now, I think what happened on this particular piece, that as someone decided to take off the evidence about Coindar, they forgot to take the evidence off of Swift. Sorry, guys, you got to make sure you clean up better. So I want to make sure. So I went to Stellar pay.org now if you notice maximus you can jump in here too see stellar has their own website and it ends in what io or dot org it ends in dot org and they have an io so these they, so i wanted to know because the ending of this uh, matter too so i went to this page and this was a facebook page that was posted in may 6 2019 on stellar now, on the right-hand side, it gives the exact same information. Now, it's kind of hard to see, so I'm going to read it to you. It says, say hello to Swift Pay, a one-stop instant exchange payment aggregation platform with access to all major cryptocurrency payments and use Swift Pay. That's the application for Swift for all cryptocurrency trading needs or to provide a perfect payment experience for users to accept uh, over all these different digital currencies. So I saw now, instead of that one piece to Coindor, I have Swift, the actual project, giving a connection, tagging Stellar Pay, and I see Stell Stellar Pay on our social media tagging Swift. But I went a step further. See, I scrubbed the web because I didn't want to look yet, and I want to find out what ever out there proves that the coin site that was updated was actually done by Swift. Because if we could actually see that the person who's updating or was associated with the company, then we could have a connection to see why they deleted it. And sure enough, I found that it was scrubbed. According to the history of the internet web, there was one archive site in 2019 and this site in which I brought to you right here, I took a screenshot. It shows that Stellar Pay and Swift were listed and they did make a post at 2019 on Coindar. Now I wanna go a step further because I, and I highlighted there for you to see. So I looked at Stellar Pay in, in 2019 on Coindar and I see that Stellar Pay also showed XLB and also other updates. I want to go a little bit further, and this is what I found. On March 21st of 2023, this site has been taken down, but this was 
MoneyGram stated on March 21st of 2023, that's last year, folks, the following. Digital wallets help send even and holding digital assets possible. Now, if you read through this posting, they gave two digital wallets, Lobster and Vibrant. Now, this is MoneyGram. I have not said Swift yet. I hope you that. So the point is, can we connect Coin Stellar, Coindar, and can we connect MoneyGram to Swift, whether we reverse engineering or not? So I want to go a step further, and I want to set this up because then we're going to have to go to some links and see it firsthand. So then on October 4th, 2023, another update. Interestingly, they took it down again. Now, why would a company keep taking it down? And they added to this lobster wallet, beans wallet, and this is on MoneyGram. And MoneyGram, again, is giving notation to these wallets. But y'all know you have to pay attention to detail. I want you to notice that lobster still remains here. Now, as we go forward, and then I'm going to show you some links. This is the full link of MoneyGram. This is MoneyGram as a company, and they show you how it would work, how you can get your cash out, how you would transfer to all these different countries, and they still note this piece. And this is associated with that, which is a icon. Now, I've never seen this icon before. Maximus, have you seen this icon before? No, sir, I have not. I have not either. So I wanted to see what this icon had to do with anything and why was that there? So I tried to go to the site and what do I have? My browser said, hey, wait a minute, this is blocked. So that made me think this has to be a scam. This had to be a scam if StellarPay.org is blocked and I try to go to the site. But I don't understand if StellarPay is blocked, then why would SwiftCoin right here tag Stellar.org? with the same logo and the same website and the same company which they reference. So it got me thinking, I think I need to go see if there's any evidence out there. So let me just jump down to some of the evidence that I, I did find that I thought that you might want to see. So I'm gonna switch this and I'm gonna go to my link. So let me stop sharing that and let me present a screen share. And let me start with the first link. So here, in this first link, what do we see? We see that we have Stellar, and we see this is Swift blockchain. I'm going to go ahead and click on it. Can y'all still see that for me? Because I can't see the screen anymore, so I want to make sure. That oh you goodness, can I'm going to zoom in more. There you go. Okay. And I can make it bigger, and then make sure I'm on the right space. As we're having this conversation, I got too many tabs up. All right. So as we can see, uh, we have Swift Coin, Swift Blockchain. And let me go back to their page. This is their website. We can see how many at 77,000 followers on their website. And as I look at this, I'm, I'm looking at the connections. And here's Stellar.org. So I click on it. Wait a minute. This is the same Stellar.org, is it not? They tagged them, which is 70, 771,000. Uh, Maximus, can you confirm if this is the actual site of Stellar.org? Absolutely is. It has the white with yellow check mark. White with yellow check mark. We got 531 following. We got San Francisco, Stellar.org. So I just want to make sure we're not making this stuff up as we go. So we got, now we got, when did this happen? This is 2019. So we got Swift Blockchain, who's tagging StellarPay.org, the same company. Wait a minute, though. When you click on Stellar.org, we find that this site is suspended. I'm a little confused. Swift Blockchain makes an announcement on May 15th of when? Of, excuse me, May 6th of 2019. They tag Stellar.org who says that XLB will become one of the first Stellar.org tokens for Swift blockchain. They tag both the actual companies who is verified to be the a right person. And then we saw that the link was linked to the Coindar. And so it got me thinking, maybe we should go a step further. So let me see if I can go a step further. I'm going to go ahead and I got to find my uh, stream yard. I'm going to take this off. Um, stop sharing that one. And I'm going to share another link. Let me see if I can pull this link up. 
share this one and I'm going to go right to the source. So we're going to go back to the source, which should be right about, let me find this one for you. Let's go to this one. So I'm going to share this one. Let me see if you can see that one. So I go to Medium because it got, it got to be a coincidence, guys. It got to be a coincidence, right? And so I go to Medium and I see that there is this stellar community. And I see this was published in October 2019. And when I was looking at this one, and let me go ahead and go there as well. Let me uh, get to the right piece on mine. All right. One moment as I navigate to the right tab that's open. As I look through this one, it says it's official. We've completed a second round of Stellar Community Fund. And it goes through, and I and I read this one, I verify that this is Zach in a community, in a Stellar community, and these are posted on the Stellar official Medium page as well, where it goes through their information. And here we go again, Stellar Pay. And in Stellar Pay, it shows Stellar Lumens. And, and in Stellar Lumens right here, I'm looking at this and I see that Stellar Pay was associated with an official medium. And this a medium is still associated back with the actual Stellar project. But I, it's got to be a coincidence. So I'm going to show you one last piece and then I'm going to go and, and see and let me let you decide what you think about this piece. So I'm going to stop sharing this and let me go and find this link before I tell you about it because I got too many links open. Here we go. Give me 20 seconds as I navigate through my links. And I, what I want to see is, is there a connection between Stellar that we saw and the Stellar Pay and what we are also seeing uh, there? So let me pull this open. Here we go. Perfect. Okay. And now let me go back to StreamYard. So here's the last one. And it's actually a few, but I believe we can get to everything from here. So I'm going to show you this and make sure. There we go. Is that it? Here we go. And let's open this one up. So make sure I can see you on my StreamYard. So now what we have here that I want to show you today, folks is the StellarPay.org, the same StellarPay.org that I discussed when we first started talking about this project. Now, what I want you to see on the StellarPay.org is this is their Facebook page. This Facebook page was open um, about uh, 2000, I think, 19. And I'm going to go to Mentions. And I click on Mentions, and here's Stellar Lumens page. Congratulations to Lobster Company, tagging StellarPay.org, Stellar Pork, and more on Medium. And back to the original Medium site. And I make sure we can see that on the, the StreamYard. All right, there we do. We got we still see it on StreamYard. Correct. And and so as I'm looking at these different links, I notice that one thing that's consistent. Even when I go to it's being in Singapore, Singapore, I look up the email addresses and I search. This is what I found. Stellar.pay.org and Swift Blockchain still showing that they had a collaboration and a link on all their social media pages. And the same Stellar.org, the same symbol that we saw there was the same similar uh, earlier. Now, this was July 13th of 2023. That was last year. And they talk about not only Stellar, but look at the, instead of XLB, they're back to XLM. And they discuss that StellarPay.org is still associated with Stellar. And that Stellar is still the same Stellar that's associated with the links on MoneyGram. And the same wallet that we saw, and I'll make sure I can see this on, on here. I think I'm still on the same page. So let me make sure I show you the right page. Let me go back here. So that same one on mentions, let's go here. Make sure I can see it. Too many tabs open. I'm going to go back and stop this one so we can get the right page up. So the same one that we see mentioned on Stellar right here. 
Tell me if y'all can see that because I can't see. I got too many tabs. Yes, we see it. We, it's uh, the StellarPay.org. Okay, StellarPay.org. Now this. Now on this, does it go to the mentions? Is it on a mention site? Yes, it shows a uh, Lumens page. You got block card, et cetera, et cetera. Perfect, perfect. So here's the lobster, the same lobster that we saw on MoneyGram. The same that same aspect that was taken down. Simpler Stellar Wallet. This wallet which was advertised by MoneyGram twice in the, what I showed you earlier is still showing that was advertised connected to Stellar.Pay.org, to the medium that said Stellar.Pay.org, to Swift blockchain that said Stellar.Pay.org, and Stellar company itself even tagging the same company. So what this showed me based on what I saw here. And let me get back to StreamYard so I can see it. So what this has shown me, and I'm gonna let you see these links. So if you go here, you can quickly go to Facebook. Please make sure you go before they take this down too. <laughs> but what this shows me is that my hypothesis that occurred with the MoneyGram conversation is this. When that Coindar posted this site, it was true. I think that the only reason that someone would take something down is the same reason humans do anything is to hide evidence. See, if it was a random person who posted this on Coindar, then that person would not have thought to go back. How many of you have ever went back to your calendar on Microsoft and deleted a calendar post that you did two years ago? Nobody. And how many of you go, went back to your MySpace page, if you had MySpace, and deleted a post you made two years ago? Nobody. But I tell you, a company would. What we have seen, though, with the connection between the Coindar post is now moving from one source to multiple sources. As I searched through, I found over 20 links that directly have tagged cross tags between Stellar.org and Stellar.io with the social media Twitter of Stellar and also with Swift blockchain. And they all did that in the exact same time frame. In fact, I brought it up and I did a little spectrum about the time frame. From the time that Coindar was posted, it was less than 24 hours later that they announced this as well. Now, I don't know about you folks, but we call that temporal proximity. If I see someone rob a bank, and their name is Jack Daniels. <laughs> and that person's in front of the bank holding a gun and then the bank is robbed, but they say it wasn't them, then likely that person probably is lying and they probably did this thing. Now I can't confirm or not whether or not that the company did this because they haven't said it. But what I want to show you is there is a high probability that Stellar and Stellar.Pay.org are some type of collaboration with Swift at one point. Now, why would they not tell you that? Sometimes companies make mistakes and sometimes information is leaked unnecessarily. Now, if this is true, then from what the information I've seen is this collaboration when China starts to open up its doors later on in the fourth quarter, imagine Swift as the token currency in this open source market. Well, I want to answer one last question. That's okay with you, Maximus and Rue. I got one last thing I want to show you. You can There's share as much as you want, my friend. Thank you. <laughs> There's this one last piece. Yeah. Someone asked a question. They says, how can they use Swift token on a Stellar network? Doesn't that, Don't we want to know how that could be possible? Absolutely. All right. So let me show you how this could be possible. And I'm going to, so I don't have to show you too many open tabs. I'm going to delete some of these open tabs so we can get right down to how that is possible. So let me delete some of these tabs because there's too many for me. And, and now we'll show you how they could use. Here we go. And that should be stellar. Okay, here we go. So let me show you this last one to answer the question that someone has to ask how this would be possible. So let's go to it. Here we go. And can you see this or do I need to make it bigger? Yes, we can see. I'm going to go ahead and full screen it more. Okay. There we go. So according to this article that was written on CryptoRank, Stellar breaks free 
unleashes a new open source disbursement platform. August 6, 2023, this was the article written. Blockchain-based payments network Stellar has introduced the open source Stellar disbursement platform aimed at facilitating faster, cost-effective, and transparent digital disbursement worldwide. Developed by Stellar Development Foundation, SDF, just so a quick note, the same one tagged on, on StellarPay.org, over the past year, the platform enables individuals and what? Organizations to execute bulk disbursements using digital assets for various purposes, including gig work payments and digital aid delivery. Initially deployed for digital aid disbursements in Ukraine, the turnkey payment solution is now, that's the key thing, open source and available for use and further development by anyone. This is a revolutionizing global payments. According to this announcement made on Wednesday, the Stellar Disbursement Platform allows users to send funds to thousands of recipients, recipients swiftly within seconds. Now, if you was to read the rest of this, it, it goes through the details of this collaboration. But the reason that they would be able to use the Stellar Network is because Stellar created an open source platform enabling anyone and organizations to use the Stellar Network with whatever technology they have, kind of like an API. That is the research, and that's what I want to announce here today on your show. I hope that y'all enjoy that information about Stellar. Please look into it and fact check the underdog research on that information. Absolutely fantastic research, to say the least. To be expected, to be honest, this is what I was talking about with uh, Rue. I've been watching and tuning into your show. You continuously bring it. On the surface, what, with what was presented here tonight, I'm going to lean towards, yes, you know, like you said, he, here's his hypothesis. I'm going to go ahead and, and back that up. Um, I can look more into it too. But guys, I mean, at the end of the day, if we're connecting dots here, which obviously that's something we do on a regular you can see the presented material. Look more into it yourself. Um, underdog is right. Who realistically goes back on their old school, like myself, uh, MySpace, and deletes old posts? Nobody really does that. This is a perfect case that, you know, yes, maybe somebody got some kind of notice, said, hey, you know what? You, you got to do your best to go out there and, you know, uh, NDAs, hello, and uh, cover your tracks, if you will. But in reality... It's like, unless you have somebody who's remembering every single thing that was posted everywhere on social media and various other sites and so on, it's really difficult to do that unless, let's face it, you have something in which, all right, here's a physical ledger. And we literally, every single time, posted something. We, you know, somebody wrote it down, yep, I posted it on MySpace, I posted it on Facebook, I posted it on this. That is not realistic. But what you see here, in my opinion, is realistic. Rue. Amazing, man. This is amazing, amazing research. I love it, bro. Um, I just want to tie it back into some stuff that um, I brought you guys, which is uh, Tim Draper. He's the biggest uh, connection here. Remember that Draper is an initial investor in Coinbase and the relationship that Coinbase has with Stellar and USDC. And of course, uh, Tim Draper and Draper Dragons are the quote unquote kind of owners or money behind Swift. So Draper connects Stellar and Swift right there. Both of those are things that he he owns, right? So keep that in mind uh, too. Absolutely. We will highlight uh, this one, which is Underdog Research Channel. As you guys saw, you had Underdog who just brought the alpha for crying out loud with the research. This is his channel. You owe it to yourself to follow these guys who take the liberty of going into the deep dive content as you know or may have heard or not heard underdog has a forensics science background wow incredible right go to his channel right he covers swift coin and some of these other ones consistently if you appreciate deep dive content you owe it to yourself to check out his channel when you go to his channel you will see that he can be followed over here at underdog research channel just like how it sounds and he does, for example, live shows, 
He has live premieres. I've attended them. And he's consistent with it. He does collaborations, obviously, with Rue, Shook Focus, um, and other people from this space and so on. Um, so definitely give him a, a uh, follow. He does recorded videos as well. So if that's your thing, you like a little bit of both, he has that. So enjoy being here with you, Maximus, and Black Rue. You know, always, it's been great. Um, just to share one quick piece, you know, folks, moving forward, there's some opportunities uh, that are happening right now that uh, hopefully that we'll cover. We got change in legislation about cannabis that's going to probably affect the blockchain as well. That Think about the blockchain companies tied to cannabis. That's going to be some things that people need to look at. There's music industry opportunities that uh, people are not talking about other than Oculus, which is one that came out a few years ago. Tokenization, real world assets between copyrights, ownerships and money and metaverse. One of the things I'm doing with my community is we don't just talk about it. We be about it. So we are creating a metaverse community where you actually get an avatar and you communicate using Web 3.0. Why stay and continue to do 2.0 and not understand how 3.0? That's kind of like the, the baby boomers who didn't want to learn the internet. We got to keep moving and innovating, right? So that's what's coming up. So I hope that you uh, have opportunity to, to be a part of it. And I look forward to speaking with Maximus, Black Rule Investing, and thank you for having me here today. You're very welcome. And uh, Rue, thanks again for introducing Underdog Research uh channel guys there's the channel give them a follow you'd be glad that you did so great deep dive content thank you very much everyone have a good night music by indigo saint yeah pete worm i'm moving no research see that's the difference between making a bag or losing a bag or it's like work research bot make the tech work and underdog you like cap kirk we masters in the middle burst just research deep work what you mean no research see that's the difference between a hundred stacks and no stacks so me research light work bot make the tech work and underdog you like cap kirk we masters in the middle burst with the